guys, it's Sharon. As you can tell by this video, it is another very special video where I leave the comfort of my bedroom and I actually go out and vlog. Wow, who is she? I know, right? So long story short, for this video, I was very, very lucky to get my hands on a Disney pass. Shout out to my friend Drea, my savior. So I was like, you know what? How interesting would it be to let Instagram control my whole day at Disney World? And I was like, am I gonna do it? I'm gonna do it, so I did it. So basically, I put up polls on my story asking what I should do at Disney Disney and this is the result of it. So if you guys do want to see more videos like this, give us a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. Also, if you're not following me on Instagram, you probably should follow me so you can tell me what to do and control my whole life. Anyways, I'm about to go to Disney. I'm very excited. It's about an hour and a half drive, so this will be very fun. I got my Minnie Mouse ears. Let's see, can I put these on with one hand while filming? Nope, but I tried my best. Yep, nope, but whatever. I got my ears. We're gonna go do this and you guys are gonna tell me what to do. And let's hope you don't kill me today. I have officially arrived at Disney. Now before I started like this day's polls, I posted a story last night where I was like, okay guys, am I doing two Disney parks or all four? And you guys have no mercy on my poor legs because you voted that I am doing all four Disney parks. There's Hollywood Studios, there's Epcot, there's Magic Kingdom, and there's Animal Kingdom. Hollywood Studios is the park that opens the earliest. 8 a.m. sharp, y'all, which here I am in line 801. I would have already been in the park, but there's literally so many people in this line that there's like traffic to get in. And I'm like, okay y'all, I'm here to vlog, so I'm gonna need y'all to scoot. Maybe that's just me. Anyways, I'm already thinking, what ride am I going on first? Obviously, Hollywood Studios, the most like popular ride or like its iconic thing is Tower of Terror. So I'm thinking, okay, I'm gonna ride Tower of Terror or I'm gonna ride Toy Story Mania because it's either let's do really scary or let's do really fun and like childish, you know? So Toy Story Mania is like this arcade game where you're like just shooting targets. It depends if you guys wanna scare me to wake me up because Tower of Terror is literally a Tower of Terror. They just drop me or if you guys want to have mercy on me which so far you guys don't since I'm doing four parks in one whole day so I'm gonna be here for like 13 hours so yeah that's where I'm at right now I have my mini mouse ears on it is freezing anyways you guys really love me because you voted for Tower of Terror so I'm about to do that and I'm about to really be awake now it is so windy and your girl might freeze today you guys are making me get on that at 8 in the freaking morning Terror and I think I left my heart on that ride, but what's new? Now I asked you guys if I should go on some Star Wars ride or the Aerosmith roller coaster, and you guys voted for the Aerosmith roller coaster, but there's a 145 minute wait time. I don't have to come back to this one, or because this is like literally my favorite roller coaster in all of Disney, so I'm a little bit stressed. I don't know, we'll find out. Literally, look at that line. Two hours later. Where is my limo? How about some backstage passes? Oh, oh yeah. I just got off Rock and Roller Coaster and it took a lot longer than I like to admit. Maybe two hours, but listen, it is my favorite roller coaster in all of Disney, so it's definitely worth it. Do I regret it? Maybe a little bit because I have four parks to go to and I just literally spent like two hours, maybe two hours and a half in a line. But that's not the point. I asked you guys what characters I should meet at Hollywood Studios and I put up, am I meeting Toy Story characters or am I meeting the Incredible characters? You guys voted for the Incredibles. I showed up to the Incredible section and like there's no organized like little like character meet and greet. It's just Bob, Mr. Incredible, just walking around. And quite frankly, I don't want to trample these little kids. And there's a little girl staring at me as I walk right now. Hi, sweetheart. I don't want to trample little kids for a photo because I'm a grown ass woman. So I think I'm going to go crash at the mode. But here's me and Mr. Incredible. He's, oh, he's back there. You know what? I'm going to try and get a quick video in the back. Hold up. Maybe I can get a video of Homeboy. Say hi. Cool. Perfect. Yeah, you look great. Yeah. Thank you. I look great. Thank you. I have no idea where Elastigirl is. So, Helen, um, what's up? I'm going to see if I can squeeze in one more character, depending if I have enough time. So, I'm going to give you guys Soli and Olaf. And I really hope you vote for Olaf. And Olaf is so hard to meet because the line is so, so long. So, we're going to walk over there. And if the line is too long for Soli or Olaf, your girl might have to dip and just go to Animal Kingdom. Yep, that is not happening. And on to the next. 
I really want to ride Mount Everest, but it's not up to me because you guys are basically literally in controlling my whole entire day at Disney. So my options are Mount Everest or Dinosaur, and I'm really, really hoping you guys pick Mount Everest. You guys love me and know me so, so well because Mount Everest won. Thank goodness there's also a single rider line, which means I can skip everyone. So that's the best part about coming to Disney alone. Love it. Wow, it's almost like we're actually there. I have never filmed it on a roller coaster. Thank you for experiencing this with me. <laughs> Characters. I gave you guys the options of Doug and Russell from Up and Rafiki and Timon from Lion King. I am really, really hoping you guys pick Rafiki and Timon because I love Timon. I have a feeling you guys are going to pick the Up characters though, and I'm totally fine with that. But I really hope it's Timon. A few moments later. I am absolutely not surprised that you guys pick Russell and Doug from Up, which is totally fine because honestly, your girl might just meet Timon and Rafiki anyways because I'm a child at heart, clearly. You're waiting now? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so, where's the one? Oh, this is smelling. Gotcha. I feel that. That's why I love my brother at home, too. <laughs> Thank you. YOLO. <laughs> Mood. Hi! Did you bring us food? Did you bring us food, though? No. What? I have car keys. Next time. There's always next time. Yeah, right? Oh, man, do I feel defeated. Wow. Two more to go, y'all. Actually, three more to go because I want to act up. Hold up. I need to turn the AC on because I'm not about to film without some air in here. So the reason I say three more is because there's this app, right, where you check, like, all the times for, like, the rides and some characters. Olaf is down from an hour to 30 minutes. So I'm really highly debating going from Animal Kingdom right now back to Hollywood Studios. Olaf is right at the entrance. So, like, if we're being honest, though, you guys told me to go meet Olaf. So I'm only pleasing y'all. Last call for boarding, friends. Last call for boarding. This is David. Hey, how are you? I have something to tell you, David. Whatever. This is my second time being here at this park just because I saw the Olaf being Greek go down. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome back. Thank you. Have a good day, David. <laughs> gonna melt him. I am the only person on this whole trip. Because I'm the only idiot that came back for Olaf. It's fine. So here's why I'm gonna turn up the temperature in Olaf's home. I step into the line and like I said it was a 30 minute wait right I literally step foot into the line and the guy's like by the way this line is now 45 minutes excuse me you mean to tell me I came back for a 45 minute line when the first time I left it was 50 minutes so I came back to save myself five minutes the best part is after I left that line the wait time was down to 20 minutes so I'm like okay all off do you have it out for me or something is it because I live in Florida and because you'll melt here I don't understand just need to let my anger out a little bit maybe because I'm hangry I am starving I am so excited that Epcot is next because Epcot arguably most definitely has the best food ever. I'm already planning what I want to eat. Am I getting sushi in Japan or am I getting tacos in Mexico? So yeah, I'm going to drive over there and you see this paper that Olaf gave me? I'm going to eat it. That's how freaking hungry I am. Okay, hear me out. Is this or is this not a golf ball? It is literally a golf ball. And if you don't think so, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you. 100% just a silver golf ball. I just want to say that I am so grateful that you guys know me because thanks to you, I'm having tacos. Mexico with Buffy. I'm like literally about to cry. Just, just look at that. Is that one direction? So I am currently in China. I posted on my story, I was like, if I were to meet a princess, who would I meet? And I gave you guys between Belle and Mulan. Oh my god, I'm in China and I forgot. The other one was Mulan. I suck. Long story short, so when I finished eating my tacos, I looked at my clock. My clock. Like, I can't read a freaking clock. I looked at my phone and it was 5.09 p.m. I checked that little app, Belle's meet and greet, which, spoiler alert, Belle won. Uh, her meet and greet ended at 5.10. There's another option. I said, am I gonna meet Winnie the Pooh or am I gonna meet Donald Duck? And you guys chose Winnie the Pooh, so we're gonna go meet Winnie. But also, while in, 
China, I did buy a fan, and y'all, they wrote my name in Chinese. How freaking cute is this? Oh my god, does it match my ears a little bit? Wow, who is she? We don't know her. Golf ball. Now obviously those tacos did not fill your girl up. I'm asking you guys what I'm getting for dessert, and my options are green tea cheesecake in Japan, or a crepe, which is my favorite dessert in the world, and that is why France is like right behind me. That's the line for it. That huge, gigantic line that you guys voted for me to stand in, because I'm getting crepes now. This is the best day of my life. I just ate my crepe and now I realize I have 20 minutes to make it until Winnie the Pooh is done. So this is gonna be fun. I'm almost in the UK. You can see that fun box thing. I'm coming for you, Winnie. I'm not stressed at all. I'm Mary Poppin, but I can't find Winnie. Should I ask her? I found him. Oh my god. Oh, who's that? That is Winnie the Pooh. I am so excited. I literally traveled so far to see him. I mean, we're in like the UK. I know. <laughs> A real man. <laughs> so for my last thing at Epcot, I asked, am I going on test track or am I going on the Grand Fiesta ride? Grand Fiesta ride. Let's act like I can't say that. It's a little boat ride versus basically like a car ride. You guys decided that I'm going on test track. Funny thing, test track has actually been closed and they literally opened it back up yesterday. So perfect timing. I basically traveled literally the whole globe for this and I finally made it. The best part about coming alone is there's literally no one here. Automated driving technology verified and active. <laughs> Officially nighttime, and I'm standing in front of some lamp in the dirt just to get some lighting. Anyways, we have one park left, and that is Magic Kingdom. So I'm going there now, and it's been a great day. I'm not gonna lie, it's been a long day. Um, my legs feel like spaghetti. The monorail I have officially made it to Magic Kingdom, the last park of the freaking day. Oh my god, am I dead inside? Okay. At the front of Magic Kingdom, there are two characters you can meet, Mickey Mouse and Tinkerbell. If there's one thing anyone knows about me, I love Peter Pan. I'm hoping you guys are gonna pick Tinkerbell, you know, but I understand Mickey, it's his turf, this is his world. Anyways, you guys love me so, so much because I'm meeting Tinkerbell and I'm very glad you guys did this for me. Thank you. So Tinkerbell, we have one thing in common. We do? We would both die without attention. <laughs> We have officially two more things left to do. I have to speed this up because my camera is dying. There are these things called pineapple floats. There's a special Moana one, which is like coconut ice cream and like some weird lemonade thing. Oh my god, are those the fireworks starting? Anyways, there's also a pineapple float that has raspberry in it. So I asked you guys which I'm getting and you guys are giving me the Moana one. So I'm excited because I've never tried it before. So we're gonna go get that while the fireworks are going on. Fun! Can we just talk about how literally beautiful this is? And there's fireworks in the back. Wow, how romantic. I look absolutely defeated, but you know what? Worth it. And am I having an ice cream float in 50 degree weather right now? Yes, I am. Welcome to Florida. Cheers. Oh my god. We have absolutely one more thing left to get to the Magic Kingdom, and my camera's dying! So I asked you guys, am I writing Space Mountain or Thunder Mountain? And you guys chose Space Mountain, which is funny because it's tradition that I always end my trip at Magic Kingdom by riding Space Mountain. So that's where we're going. Sharon, one. Disney, zero. I'm not gonna lie, Disney, you almost murdered me. But you know what? I won. And that is what dreams are made of. Now I'm gonna go on Space Mountain and uh, probably die on it, but what's new? <laughs> I'm so tired, guys. Why does leaving Disney look like a war zone? I don't even know how I'm alive right now. I finally made it back to my car, and I didn't realize how much pain I was in until I actually sat down. So, um, your girl might not leave her bed for a couple of days, but you know what? On the bright side, some little kid dropped their little stitch plush, and it's mine now. For the record, I did not see the little kid who dropped their stitch toy, so don't go thinking I'm stealing from children. All the pain was for you, Stitch. How did I do this? Now I gotta drive home for like an hour and a half, so <laughs> this is gonna be fun. I'd say this was a very successful Instagram controls my day at Disney, and if you're not following me on Instagram yet, you probably should so you can tell me what to do again. I don't know about Disney though, because my legs are numb. My whole body is numb. I am dead right now. This is my ghost. Just put me up in the Haunted Mansion right now. <sighs> R.A.P. me. <laughs> I have finally made it back home. You know what? Listen, it was a very long day. Oh, honestly, it kind of hurts holding my camera up. 
out. I'm weak. I should probably go to the gym more often, but that's not the point. Anyways, it was a very, very long day. It is almost 1 a.m. But you know what? I love today. I had fun. And I'd say you guys did me very well with your choices. You know, maybe not Timon and Rafiki, but I met them anyways, and that's totally fine with me. I'm not gonna lie, though. I do wish I saw Peter Pan. Maybe next time. Guys, when I said Peter Pan is my favorite, I meant it. Y'all did well with Tinkerbell, and she was neck and neck with Mickey. I'm so proud of you. I had fun letting you guys control my whole life, and I hope you did too. This isn't the first time I've let you guys control what I do. I've done a control my back to school shopping and control my whole day. So if you do want to go check those videos out, feel free. If I should make another one of these videos, comment down and let me know what video you want to see. Also, give us a thumbs up. And of course, if you're not following me on my Instagram, you probably should, so you can boss me around just like today. But anyways, shout of the week goes to Scarlett. Thank you so, so much. And if you guys do want to be shout of the week, just also follow me on my Instagram. You can be shout of the week, and you can tell me what to do. Sounds like a win-win if you ask me. But anyways, if you guys do want to see more videos like this, subscribe for more. And all that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!